Man, does it sure get dark here in the morning. Ooh, wow. Just love that feeling. The feeling of harvest time. Yep, the trees are starting to go not well. We did get a frost, so they're, the trees are a little bit behind. But it's harvest time, I think. We're going to try to see if it will go. Let's get to it. All right, looks like he's taken off. Well, I hope so. We just took off some tires off of this truck. They, it was a little wide, let's just say that. The tires are beefy. Taken off. Are you gonna unfold your mirrors? Come on. We also put a, a new bumper on that. If you don't know, that's my buddy. So we used the shop here a little bit. Uh, the tires look exact, almost exactly like these four-wheeler tires. A little odd. That's other news. It is harvest time. Guessing our soybeans are ready. I, I went out there. I felt them. They, they feel pretty good. I, I don't know exactly what the moisture. We're going to have to get the actual harvesters in the field before we do that. Ugh. Oh, 83 is a little dirty. It's got a little moisture mud on it. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to use the grain cart. We're not going to use the newer grain cart just for the fact that uh, my uh, Versatile back there doesn't have a PTO. So I was, I have plans, but I don't have it ready yet. So that that's on the back burner right now. We don't really need it for soybeans anyways. So start this beast up. Yeah. All right, move it on out. I'm gonna move, let's see. I guess I could take this to the field right away. So we're gonna be doing our far field down the road. You know, you know, uh, I just, I got to wash this thing up. I, I am, we need to be in the field, but uh, I, I, I just gotta wash it up. We're gonna, I'm gonna oh, oh, oh wow, I almost hit the truck there. I forgot it was parked right there. Woo! Oh, my beautiful Mac almost got smacked. All right, so we'll leave it right here. I'm gonna wash it off quick. And with a snap of the fingers, it's all clean. Yeah, all right. Now let's get this to the field. Don't have to be embarrassed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shortcut. So usually don't do this, but the fence ends down here on the end of the road, so I can just cut right in over on the highway I just gotta do a little ditch dump just a little bitty uh, I'll take it at an angle this is a new piece of highway if you guys didn't know a little stretch of highway I ate it at kind of odd we're gonna do our far field of soybeans right down here in the road this is my only bin away from the farm that I own so it's out here on this field so I plan on putting the soybeans into this bin. I'm hoping I don't need to dry them. Leave this tractor right here. My wife should be here shortly. Hopefully, uh, she was supposed to be following me. Shoot. Just sitting over here, sitting on my steps, whistling to myself. Where's my wife? Where's she at? Uh, oh, here she comes. I hear her. Ah, it's about time, huh? UTV time, huh? We're gonna head back really quick. So, I purchased another uh, what, a dump trailer. I just love the looks of it. You guys have to see it. So it, it isn't new, but it sure does look new. It's new to me and us. Go down there, I'll get the old Mac running. Run down there and pick it up here quickly. I'm so excited I get to use my new trailer. I know, it's it's a little corny that I get excited. Well, we're going to take a shortcut about a hopper trailer, but hey. 
insane. I think it looks amazing. Fire up the gray beast. Or this is more silver, I guess, and gray. Yeah. Lean out the window. Make sure we are clear to go. All right. Let's get to going. Kind of hearing something back there. Hoping it's not. Oh well. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. Oh no, it sounds like I may have an air leak back there. Screaming. Max is screaming. There is our trailer right there. This is our uh, new trailer to us. Recently built. I think it's a 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Jet Hopper Bottom. Back this old girl up see where we're at here and a little bit more all right that looks good let's see this team in action Ooh, beauty beautiful if I have to say I really wish that I had uh, electronic uh, uh, hopper openers but psh, psh. I'm still young I still have some uh, some biceps, eh, a little bit of biceps. I don't go flexing around anymore, let's just say that. But, just love the looks of this trailer. Looks amazing. It looks like they have, uh, like, support around the bottom of the hopper. It's a little bit different. There are curved hoppers, too. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a curved hopper like that. A little interesting. I think that air leak went away, if I'm not mistaken, which is good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Um, might smash in their culvert right there. Holy cow, am I doing a bad job driving this thing today. Listen to that thing purr. Brum, 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 brum. at the field. Didn't have to go far. That's for sure. Uh, now, this is my covert, so they'll know who smashed this one. So I gotta make sure I don't smash that one. Or run over my beans. Man, does that thing look pretty. Just sitting here admiring my new rig. Not gonna mine hauling corn to the elevator this year. I could have swore I had a sunshade on this the other day. Oh well. Man, do I look small on this big monster. Alright, gotta hook this up to our auger here. Big 4620, coming down the road. Alright, that thing is ratcheted up. Alright, now we just have to move it forward and put it down. All right, we got it all set up finally. That's like one of the hardest things to do, I think, is set, oh. Uh, I guess I didn't set it up perfectly. I, I missed the hopper bottom. Man, I thought I had everything perfect. Nope, a little bit close right there. All right, finally ready to actually try the beans. I hope. Ooh. Did you guys know I have a gleaner? You guys probably didn't even know this. Gleaner power. Some people call this the the silver cedar. I don't know. I think it deserves a better name than that. But uh, I think this, yeah, this is going to be the first time I get to run it on the beans. The little uh, breaking the cherry on the beans. Oh, L3. Brought out of the wee row, the tree row, whatever you want to call it. And into the bean field. Let's see how this thing runs. Alright, before Big Red comes down here and joins the Silver Cedar here. 
to see. Uh, is there some... Alright, I thought I heard something down there, but I didn't. Alright, let's see if we can get this old girl running in here. Wow, look at that smoke up blaring. Rolling coal. Alright. Huh. I swear, I hope I didn't hear a hissing sound. Don't know if my uh, tire's doing what it might be going flat. What to? What to? I think this might. This is probably far enough. I'm gonna stop and see what they're running at. Alright, back on up a little bit here. Yeah, where's our beans at? Way down there. Alright, let's grab one of them. Alright, there we go. What we got here? Wow, that unload auger is pretty tiny for nowadays. That's definitely a serious upgrade the last century. Holy cow, I'm trying to back this thing out of this garage. This header. Oh my goodness, it's a nightmare. Ugh. I feel like Austin Powers in that movie when he's in the hallway. Whew. Come on, get out of here. Right. Oh my goodness. Yep, it, it about took 15 minutes, but hey, it's out. Probably should just unhook the head. It would have took like maybe five minutes. Oh well. Done that. Ooh, slow down, Stevio. Just can barely make it through here, I think. Can I make it? Can I make it? It's tight. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. Alright, we made it. Finally made it. A five minute job turned into an hour. Yep, like always. Alright, let's pull in here. Finally got to the field. Cousin is over there. I'm gonna miss that. Ooh, a little close. Well, there's my cousin running. All right, time to follow. All right, think we can catch that old cedar up there? Well, we're gonna try. Ah, yeah. What is this? A, uh, another century or so newer? I don't remember when they stopped Glen or stopped making the L threes. I think, uh, just by the looks alone, I don't know why, but I, I just kind of like that old, that, the way L3s look. Like, they kind of all look the same, you know, you got your M's, well, for sure, the Gleaners made a lot of, uh, model L's, R's, I don't remember exactly, move my reel up a little bit, exactly all the models they made a little bit before my time. Beans are actually running really good. I think we're getting about 70 to 80 bushel per acre, uh, which is pretty good on, uh, these aren't double crop beans, these are single crop, so. See all the pods out there. None of them are dropping yet. It's almost the perfect time. You can see that uh, bean dust in there. That's when you know you got it right. He got the bean dust. Don't suck that up though, it's probably bad for you. Yeah, there's our old barn that we uh, pulled some uh, items out of earlier in the year. Yep, good little shed. Little field shed. Don't really use it for much, to be honest, so. It's a little bit of far away from the. I guess we could store some stuff in there, lock it up, but don't really have a need for it right now. I really was trying to catch up to the cousin. So this is a plan. Uh, I would love to run the gleaner. Uh, I wanted to run the gleaner but I don't get to because uh, I have to one run the auger, run the grain cart, and bury the truck unload. So that's a little bit much 
for my wife or my cousin to do. Uh, it all points to me. I have to do it. Once my wife gets here, I'm going to throw her into this old uh, harvester and uh, we are going to get underway. I think we could easily get this field done today. All right, we are in our grain cart. All along here. So my wife is in the case. They actually did a arm wrestle to figure out who gets the case. So the case has a lot better of uh, AC and it's it's pretty hot fall day here in Missouri. So it, it's a little blaze. Ooh, it's like we got the roll of shame here. Yep. Look right there. Can't see it. Yep, roll of shame going along there. While she's going, I'm gonna see if this old uh, laner is seeding or not. Look down here. See how we're doing. <laughs> it's not a seeder today, at least. Alright. We better get down there so we can uh, catch her on the other end. I'm gonna move my seat for I'll uh, move it back a little bit. Gotta get this adjusted. Right there. That's perfect. Hold on. I'm coming. Coming along here. Oh wow, that's a small logger there. Oh yeah. I'm loading on the go with the smallest auger ever. This takes talent. Well, maybe not a lot of talent, but that's why I wanted this uh, smaller, lower to the ground grain cart. I don't see her hopper bin filling up here. It should be fair. Well, we're going to unload on the go back here. I mean, look at that auger compared to that little itty bitty auger over there. It's quite a bit of difference. I can't get the seat right. I'm gonna have to move it. Yeah. yeah, that feels right. There we go. Sit here, wait. At least I don't have to worry when it comes to my wife. I don't really have to get close to the. Definitely gotta be a good grain cart driver when you don't have a experienced. Uh, Harvester or combine driver. Yep, I am not in the middle here. This is when all your sweat, hard work pays off. Seeing them dollars going in the bin. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just want to shout his name oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I want to run through his hair But I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him Once I unload both of these old girls off I should be ready. I have a whopping overflowing grain cart, at least I hope. Go easy peasy. Love running grain cart. Oh, what? What's your favorite job to do at harvest time? I have to say. I kind of like doing the old switcheroo, the running the, the harvester one day, getting in the grain cart, maybe going to the truck. I don't know. It, even though one job is usually the funnest, which is that's that's not a word, but the one I enjoy the most is the harvester, of course. But sometimes it's nice to you know do something else for a day or two. Get that spout out. Yep, here it comes. Alright. It's 
start oh, start unloading here. We we'll have to uh, get the tractor running before we get too far into this poor old deal. Start this girl up. Come on, come on, you cold-blooded beast. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, all right. Start the PTO. We are good to go. All right. Unloading into our new hopper bottom there. Just love this thing. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Let's climb up here and see what we got. Oh, almost full. Make sure, like the video. Thank y'all. If you don't know, you can save a ton of Apex gaming PCs. All you have to do is enter the squad's name.